I feel like being selfish isn't something you're taught. Hey knickknacks, welcome to my closet, my new ass closet. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell down below to be notified for all my millennial content for y'all. Change is a coming. If you guys have been following me for years, you guys know that I've loved fashion, but girls never had an epic closet. Even when I lived in LA and I moved twice, just had a normal open the doors closet, which is fine, it did the job, but I've always had way more clothes than a person actually needs, and I've never actually had a room for all the clothes I have. I never have had my dream closet. <sighs> I spoiled myself, guys. I have my dream closet. I actually did it. I have my dream closet. This channel is changing. I love fashion and I have a room to film in. It looks like a dressing room at a store. This was not a big room, but somehow it's huge. I don't know. But anyways, a huge, huge thank you to the Sorry Girls. They're located in Toronto and they came to Pennsylvania to redo my closet and they have the whole process on their channel and they have the reveal on their channel. So if you wanna see my entire closet, go over to their channel to see how they made it and to see my reaction and to see a whole closet tour. Anyways, you guys are probably wondering why I'm so damn extra in this jacket. And yeah, I'm I'm obviously feeling myself. I just, I feel so good right now. I I spoiled myself with this closet, but I also spoiled myself with clothes. I spent a thousand dollars on Dolls Kill for all new clothing in this closet. And that's because since I'm going to be filming in this closet, I really think the clothing hanging on my clothing racks, as you guys can see through the mirror, I want the pieces of clothing hanging on those racks to really represent me and my fashion and this channel, because you guys are gonna be seeing it a lot. These are like set pieces, but they're also pieces I'm gonna wear when I'm really feeling myself, AKA this jacket is one of them. With change comes more change. I feel like when you feel change coming on, like you gotta really fucking embrace it. And with this new closet, I'm taking it upon myself to get rid of old memories, old pieces of clothing, and just bring in a bunch of new. I am going through different style phases of my life. I feel like last year I was a little more cozy, 70s, comfy. And I feel like now I'm turning a little it's so cringy to say insta baddie, but that's the only way I can describe it. I feel like I'm really feeling myself. Like really, I really wanna play up colors. I still have that retro vibe sometimes, but I feel like lately I'm just, I like form fitting, I like colors. I like makeup right now, that's my new thing. I have a cut crease right now, I'm really proud of it. Without further ado, I wanna get into this haul. I wanna show you guys my new vibe. I wanna show you guys what I'm, what's gonna be hung up in this closet. I also got accessories. Let's start, guys. Also, I'm gonna be trying on all these outfits as I talk about them, so keep watching. It's not a boring haul where I just sit here and talk. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. But as you guys know, Dolls Kill is my favorite store. Okay, so the first thing I got, I got fur. Yeah, you heard me, Nikki got fur. It's this black fur crop top. I really, really like wearing crop tops with high-waisted tight pants. I think it really shows off my waist and curves. So I've been leaning a lot towards crop tops lately. It's like, oh, I just killed my husband, but I don't give a fuck. The next thing I got, my parents are dentists, and if they watch this, they're gonna cringe. The next thing I got is a sweater that I really felt festive with. It reminds me of New Year's and like Christmas and the holidays. I love this shit. It's so like bold and in your face. And if you look closely, there's a lot of colors sticking out through the thread. There's like aqua, hot pink, and gold. They're so happy by this. The next thing I bought is this royal blue velvet corset. Yo, guys, look at that color. It, it's just so comfortable and the color is very me, as y'all know. You can't really tell anymore because the blue's growing out, but I have blue hair. It's very royal. The next pieces I got are actually pink and metallic. I don't normally buy pink, as you all know. I feel like I was really drawn to this because of the way Dolls Kill has been like posting about this outfit online. I know I've made a big stink in the past that like I don't like pink, I don't wear pink, blah, 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 blah. But for some reason, like I just gotta go to what I'm drawn to. Even though in the past I've said that, I was really drawn to this online. Props to Dolls Kill on that advertising because it got me. I think this is a really cute outfit to wear together. It has that, this reminds me of Lizzie McGuire. Hey now, hey now. 
Trisha's actually here right now. Trisha Paytas is filming Blood Queens with my sister Gabby and I'm filming a scene with her today. It's so ironic. Reminds me of This Is What Dreams Are Made Of. The next thing I got is a corset, another corset. Wow, everyone's gonna say Nikki's feeling herself. Nikki feels hot. It's okay for a girl to feel hot. I've suffered a lot of things, especially body image wise. The last two Christmases, if you look on my channel, I was like really not feeling myself, so I'm happy I'm feeling myself. The corset I have is light blue. It kind of gives me Hilary Duff 2005, 2004 vibes. It's pleated down the front and it's longer in the front and in the back it comes up so it's like longer in the front. This is very 90s and I love the color. Again, it's very icy, very wintry, very cute. The next top I got, I already opened because I really, really couldn't wait and I wanted to see what it looked like in person. I love yellow. Yellow is my OG favorite color. It's a sheer turtleneck top. Obviously, I have to wear nipple pasties or something underneath. I love the design on it. All these, like, just lines. It's super different. I really, really like that. And I could see myself wearing this, like, layering it under a t-shirt. I'm gonna do all my, like, head accessories in another, like, at the end of this haul. I kinda wanted to wear this in this haul. It was between this top and this jacket. It's this red fluffy top with gold chains as for the straps. I do have to admit, this top is pretty big on me but I feel like it's nothing I can't fix. I wear all gold jewelry. All my knickknacks, my jewelry line are all gold so far. And I just feel like this goes with me and my style right now. The next item I bought reminds me of the Brady Bunch. This is my 70s style popping out. Uh, it's color blocking and it's an orange chunky turtleneck. It really reminds me of the Brady Bunch, guys. It's so cute! That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. That's the way we became the Brady Bunch. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Next sweater I got reminds me of Lizzie McGuire in the early 2000s. It's tie-dye lime green and it has cutouts, distressed at the bottom. It's a very like homemade vibe, really cute. The next top I got reminds me of Kesha. I feel like Kesha's style lately has been like, I can't even explain it. Her Instagram is just so unique and I could see her wearing this. I bought this like very shiny periwinkle button up. I don't know, I could see myself wearing it tucked in tight pants even to business meetings when I'm in LA. Next item I bought is something I'd wear more every day. And it's part of the Delia's collab with Dolls Kill. And it's just like a rose tank top. This top is very girly for me, but at the same time, it's very like 60s, 70s. I picture wearing this with bell bottoms and a middle part. The next thing I bought is a simple turtleneck, but it's so damn cute. We all need some plain pieces, especially me. I find myself only buying the unique pieces, and then when it comes to everyday wear, I don't have anything to wear, and I repeat outfits. So I had to buy this plain white turtleneck, but it's not just your plain turtleneck. It's distressed and it's cropped. I realize what works for my body is a crop top and high-waisted pants. I think dressing to your body shape is like, the key to loving your body. Because I feel like if you're trying, if you're a circle and are trying to fit into a triangle, it ain't gonna work. Like, um, I have dieted like crazy in the past, but I still wasn't happy with myself, even at my skinniest. So I just do me now and I just dress to what my body naturally sits at. The next top I got is another New Year's inspired layering top. Uh, for some reason, I'm picturing layering this top underneath a, like a band t-shirt like this is very glam and I love mixing glam and edge together like soft meets edgy so those were the clothing items I bought to hang up now I bought a ton of accessories and hats and headbands and I can't wait to show you guys can I just say I'm so freaking happy that headbands are back in style the first thing I bought that I'm really excited to show you guys is this lime green headband that I was debating on wearing for this haul a lot of people have been wearing these thick headbands lately, like, I hate my ears. I would wear it like this. Like this. This is so cute. I got another headband, and this one is like gray and white plaid and fur for wintertime. These headbands are just like really making a comeback. I used to actually get headbands like this to match my school jumper, like my school uniform. I used to have a plaid dress that I had to wear to my Catholic school, and I used to buy the matching headband that matched the dress. Comment down below if you guys were one of those. This is like a teddy bear headband. It's the same vibe, 
but it's tan and it reminds me of those Sherpa jackets like those you know what I mean like from Urban Outfitters I bought so many headbands it's a problem next headband I bought is silver this one's huge so I don't know if I'm gonna like it I could tell it was huge online what I think this is my favorite one silver and blue it's a mood the next headband. This is where I spent all my money. I'm gonna have an area for all these headbands in this closet. The next headband is black and it has jewels all over it. And I just feel like I wear all these colors so this will go with any outfit with whatever color I'm wearing. I fucking love this headband. The last two items in this haul, this never ending haul, are two berets. I'm not a beret person. This is very Parisian, very fancy. But this hat is my color palette and it reminds me of Clueless. And this hat is very neutral and goes with pretty much anything. And it has like these edgy, like, it looks like the hat's pierced with earrings. And I thought that was different. This is cute. This is cute. Is Nikki getting girly? I'm so tired of that. I, I'm just gonna like say something for a second. Yeah, on the Nikki and Gabby channel, Gabby's girly and I'm not. But. That's because every day I'm definitely comfy, but when I'm like going out or going to an event, I'm always extra because I love fashion. This reminds me of, I'm so fancy. This is everything I bought. It feels like Christmas morning. I have a new closet, new clothes. What's next? New hair. Also, I am, I'm going to take this hat off because I can't take myself seriously. I am so excited for my channel right now, for this channel. Um, I feel like I was waiting for a makeover like this to like have a filming room and I feel like and I feel like I've never had just like a room where I can I can be like the fashion person I am and like take dope mirror pictures do hauls in here and film in here and do fashion challenges and reviews in here I think I was being held back by not getting this room done so honestly like everyone get excited like I'm feeling very truly inspired I'm gonna start getting on a consistent schedule on this channel and I'm not gonna lie like I think I've been all over the place motivation wise because I always pictured my channel to be like this but I never had this and I was so focused on other things I, I have a tendency to not focus on myself and this is something I did for myself. I hit up the Sorry Girls and I said, I need a filming room. And I want those of you guys watching this video that you guys feel like like living for other people and you're not like happy, you have to like think, okay, well, what can I do? Yeah, granted, not everyone can drop money and build their dream closet. I totally understand that. And it, it just starts small and I'm starting to learn how to be selfish. And I feel like being selfish isn't something you're taught. You're actually taught opposite. You're taught to not be selfish. But a part of self-love is kind of being selfish. You gotta learn the good kind of selfish. I know I have some subscribers that have been watching me for years that are probably moms now. And like, I have friends that are moms and they love their kids so much they forget about what they want and what's gonna make them happy. And I feel like I've cared for so long about channels and videos and and Gabby and, and my boyfriend to like where I forget, okay, what, what does Nikki want? So... Yeah, I know I'm making positive changes and I really feel good about it. So I always somehow make everything deep, even though this haul was not supposed to be that way. I feel like it's my cancer moon. I'm very like emotional and sensitive. All right, be sure to hit the subscribe button because there's gonna be plenty of more content coming. Also check out my jewelry line, Shop Knickknacks. There's a lot of launches coming up. Please become a part of the family. I have a lot of videos planned and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.